Hey, it's Princess Nokia. It's Ab Soul. And you're watching, watching Galore, Galore TV. TV. So, what's up? What's happening? How you doing? How you feeling? Very good. Very Just masculine. Mucho. Yeah. I had been going over some themes in your new album. Mm -hmm. Congratulations, by the way. Thank you. Your album is very uh, female oriented and very yeah. celebrated of the female spirit, as I think any piece of work should normally be, you know, in it some sort of some aspect. Of thing, right? yeah. Not even needed to be said. Right. However, it's said because look at the world we come, you know, our world, our, our, our community is yeah. based in hip hop, which yeah. sometimes has a Patriarchal roots, but not all the time. Yeah. We got some really great allies. Well that put. should never be forgotten. Well put. And I was like, oh man, you know, he's continuing to solidify this uh, existence in hip hop, which celebrates women and celebrates yeah. other themes, not just women and yeah. women's empowerment and feminism, but, you know, um, other aspects that normally aren't correlated to typical rappers. Right. Please share some light on it was, that. It was, it was just important to do. I feel like it's time, you know what I mean? Like, we was chopping it up off the camera. Yeah. Like, you know what I'm saying? It's like androgynous, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> Andro. <laughs> Andro, you know what I'm saying? Like, I think we just, we're in a time where, I think a good analogy is like, you know, me being a man, like when I talk to women, like the tone is different. Mm -hmm. It's like a, usually a softer tone when I'm talking to women, like, you know what I'm saying? Shake the hand nicely or give them a hug versus with the men are more stern. But like, I feel like now I wanted to give the woman the firm handshake. You know what I'm saying? With this album, like, if you could dig that analogy, like, not. I certainly can, not, because not, why are they not deserving of it? Correct. Correct. So, you know, I wanted to hold the conversation with them, not in a, um, you know, in a way that would like serenade you. But, you know what I'm saying? Just know that like men are having these type of conversations too. You know what I mean? Young men today. Yeah, I think, you know, when it comes to like musicians such as ourselves, mm -hmm. we have to be bold in our stances and our verbalisms and what, how, what we stand by. Because I think as a, musicians, we have essential concepts in our mind. Mm -hmm. And like the way we apply that, especially as rappers. Because yeah. we're, like, we're like wordsmiths, we're the very right. riddlers, you know? Rumple skill me. skins. Yeah, right. You can do a lot of things with words. Yeah. Words are very powerful. Very. It's called spelling for a reason. Ooh. You know? Ooh. Yeah, think about it. I think sometimes the capacity of things, of rappers, they, they shake people up and they, um, those ideas that I think people put subconsciously into their minds, mm -hmm. the truth, you know? Uh, that honesty, mm -hmm. that uh, that directness, that rawness, right. it could it make people uncomfortable. It does. Yeah. It does, and I think anytime a black, brown, intellectual person really says something of true honesty that has scientific, philosophic, Scary. esoteric facts behind them, Dangerous. it make people scared because Scary. we are surpassing the stereotype that they think we are. Exactly. Exactly. Because we are truly philosophers, we are educated people. Right, and that's why you know I took took my time with this one because I had to make sure, you know, I felt the responsibility to come correct. You know, it's gonna raise a lot of questions, you know. That sounds like you're ready to answer. It's just sure, you yeah. know, and I think that's sure. that's especially mm -hmm. as a rapper, when right. you put a album out. Exactly. You stand by stand your, behind, your, stand behind your product. Your you know, word, your product, your your music, your art. It's good to raise questions. Mm -hmm. Let's raise questions. Let's just be a little controversial. People right. haven't done this in Slim Shady when he started talking about pop stars. It's right. like, okay. Right. <laughs> What's right. the new controversy? And that's him tackling that was him tackling his own theory of How like sociology in a joint. way. Yeah, you sure. know? Shout out to Marshall. Hip hop is an intelligent movement. You know what I mean? So we gotta remember that. We got a responsibility to I think people forget together. about yeah, that's what I'm the foundation of hip hop and how punk rock it was and how yeah. different it was yeah. and kind of criminal had, minded. Yeah. yeah, and how like DIY was. Yeah. It was political. It was radical. It was, the it, was CNN. it was. And it was yeah. definitely like it was Afro punk before that concept existed. Yeah. You know, sure. Afro punk before hip hop got really, really uh, corporate and it had those qualms of aggressive masculinity that were almost a prerequisite to sell records. Mm -hmm. Hip hop was very fe female oriented. Yeah. Um, started in the circle. Circle, it started, I always say hip hop started on a pop bench. 
in the park. The park, for sure. The park yeah, is what's up. So, you know, just trying to bring back that, you know, that cypher era. I like, I'm all <laughs> OG, cypher. OG told me, you know, hip hop died when they added the mic. Mm. That's profound. I think both of us have exhibited albums that kind of use those motifs of classic hip hop. Right. So, and like, what, you know, what, what you think? What you think is a message that you're trying to, you know, give off to the to the to the world? I'm a smelly fucking kid, and I love myself. Type shit. Type shit. Yeah. I like that. I've always had eczema. I've always been fucking weird. I never wore Jordans. Like I loved just like talking to myself and daydreaming. Mm -hmm. And that's my, you know, I, people didn't fuck with me, and I loved it because it was very apparent that I was ahead of my time. So you had to embrace that. Yeah, I just love embracing being different. And I discuss people sometimes, people are really rude to me. Mm -hmm. And I am always a champion of making what is ugly or what is unwanted, something that is very beautiful or something that is special. And I think that I as a woman who owns that, that yeah. um, that takes a lot of cojones, does take a lot of balls, you know, right, right. not to be pretty and to forcefully be ugly first and then allow my beauty to shine through my ugliness. I think that is something that I, is a common theme in my work. Yes. I like things that are unconventional. I'm dope. not, yeah. I, I don't like to go, I mean, I think all forms of femininity are beautiful. I can really admire a woman who takes time with her beauty. Like I really, really do because that's, that's beautiful. That's, 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 that's self care. Sure. I love a woman who takes a really long time. She smells good, she clean, she, oh my God, it's gorgeous. That, you know what I mean? Like that's, I love that. I never could be that, but I admire it so much because it's a, it's a, it's a, it's the, it's like one of those pinnacles of a woman that's sheer femininity that I just go, God, you a real woman, you know? And see, that's why, see, that's what time we, we are, you know what I'm saying? Like, that's that's what time we're in. So, like, the women are um, showing more appreciation to each other, too. Mm-hmm. Yeah, you know definitely. Saying? Like, as much as, like, as much as we can say, like, you know, uh, the men are being very narrow with the subject matter, I think, like, the women are still, are, you know, are holding hands a lot more, and that's cool, too. The sisterhood is very the much sisterhood the, is the coven. Really, yeah, it's being um, very. I love the term. The co the sisterhood and the coven is very much being yeah, pulsated sure. by the young uh, women of mm. our of our time for because sure. they I think they just they they understand that they are very self sufficient by themselves. Yeah. I think a lot of them are tapping into those older traditional philosophies about self sufficiency mm. and sacred women. Mm -hmm. So they go like, oh, I don't gotta be barefoot waiting for my man with a loose, about to rip my hair out anymore. I'ma get down with some of my female friends and we gonna be strong together. Exactly, fuck that nigga. Hell yeah, you yeah, know? Sure. People misconstrue my feminism and they go, oh, you angry, you hate men. Listen, I love men, I, wor I worship them, I celebrate them as the way I want them to celebrate and worship me and talk Perfect. talk to me as in a high regard as I talk to men. I always go, hey, who said I hated men? I'm like, I love men. I think they're wonderful creatures. I think they're intelligent beings. I think they should be withheld with kingship and love and protection right. and safety. And they should be, especially men of color, they need to be regarded with even more sacredity. People from, you know, people our age, people in our world, people our community. That's a dope lesson. You know, they uh, they are awakening. Yeah. They, they see how sacred women are again. I think that's why I know a lot of young male men who are very much about this topic, who are right. all about, you know, uh, keeping the conversation open and making it very well known right. who they admire, right. who they are inspired by. Correct. Who their muse is. Correct. The woman, the, the mother, mom, the right. sister. Exactly. You what's, know? What's, what's, Ill, what's the illest part about this to me is there are going to be a lot of females that take this as like wrong. Hmm, yes. Isn't that interesting? Like, There's going to no. be a lot of women that, you know, think this, like, this idea that I'm trying to push is like, you know, blasphemous or, you know what I'm saying? It's, it's, it's crazy. People, I mean, I, I think that some people misconstrue um, my ideas of feminism and yeah. my stance as a woman. Yeah. I say, fuck you, the door is that way. Yeah. This is my world. Yeah. You're a squirrel in it. 
You trying to get in there, I ain't gonna let you. Right. Back up. Right. Sandy from SpongeBob. Right. Trying to get that nut. <laughs> Little piece of squirrel meat. And I think that, you know, what's dope that I try to push in my like work and stuff, mm -hmm. that feminism ain't a bad word. If you understand the concept, it's all about the protection, the empowerment, yeah. and the self-sufficiency of sisterhood or womanhood or whatever the case may be. Like I use the word bitch a lot, right? Yeah. Um, but I would claim that word. I could do that. I'm a woman. Correct. That's my shit. Correct. It's a word. Correct. I'm also like came from like New York and being real gay and like from the Vogue scene. Like, yeah. hey bitch, how you doing, bitch? Right. Like also being a ghetto woman, you always call somebody bitch. I can't take that. You cannot. I'm sorry. I'm not gonna drop my urbanized vernacular for the comfortability of someone. Yeah. Okay. I'm a feminist. Yeah. I'm an yeah. urban feminist. Yeah. I so I'm a black feminist. But at the same time. Bitch, what's good? You know, right, like I can't take right. it out my, my tongue. I and know that, some yeah. people want me to. Yeah. <laughs> and I'm still fighting with myself. But I just love the word so much. I, and I, and I, I think I like say it more because I'm like, yes, I'm sticking by it. I said I was going to. That's how you get, that's how you just take the beat, you know. I know it's in my heart, my intention. Pour that beauty out of the ugly, you feel me? Yeah. Like the power of words. It's about yeah. duality sometimes. Yeah, you for know? sure can't have and without men you can't have women without women you can't have men i'm an urban feminist yes. a urban feminist yes <laughs> take the question mark off of the song now god is a girl i put the question mark on there for you know mm -hmm. for, for theoretical purpose but you know what i'm saying take oh. it off beyonce is god you heard it first right here solange is jesus solange is <laughs> <laughs> Is the daddy? I what's his name? Yo, you're See, classy. the beehive gonna come for my ass after this. You're classy. Oh no. Oh uh, yeah. Love sure. is love. What is that? Um, is that a good theme? That's who. That's um. What? This album is based, you know, on Crowley, the guy. Mm-hmm. You know. Senor Alistair. Yeah, the wicked dude. Mm-hmm. The bald head guy. Uh yeah, some can argue that. Yeah. I may not agree with some of his philosophies, but I respect him and what he philosophized. One of his one of his concepts is uh, love is the law. Love is the law. Oh, love is the only law. Was was ill about That's this? That's very yeah. prophetic for Alistair. For oh Alistair, my God. Yeah. Love is the only law. He, he went to so he went to Cairo. Consciousness. Yeah, he went to Cairo. He did his research. Well, that is Christ consciousness. Yeah, love, there you go. love, supreme love. You feel me? And that's that's. Uh, in Christian in, in Christianity, Jesus said in the New Testament. Uh, when I'm gone, the only commandment I leave you with is that you all love one another as I so have loved you. Mm. So it's like the same, you know. Right. Hor Horace, you know. Yes, it's no, completely same. so. Same, yeah, love the is the law. Thing. I believe in that. I definitely think when I pray a lot, yeah. I'm always asking for love and yeah. not a romantic love. Yeah. I don't need a man. I got tons of them. Yeah. I I, I yeah. want I want a prophetic, profound, you know, divine love that makes me understand the outside world. Yeah. So in such such a you know, in such a theoretical way, it it, it moves me to the point of tears. I yeah. think I have that love though. It's something I've definitely. Think you've been around that? Yeah. Oh my God. Yeah. yeah. I, I know it. Every time I go to the park, every time I look at children, every time I pray, every time I, I do something in nature, I'm like that's love. The concept and the motif of this conversation that Saul and I had was to bring about this dialogue of women and mm -hmm. sacredness. Exactly. Uh, as a normality in hip hop, as exactly. a normality in the mouths of men and women, um, and especially in the mouths of men. You know, we have to respect and honor women. We have to protect them. We have to see them as our equals. Yeah. So know that. So yeah. understand that.